More developments this morning in the push to disqualify Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade from the 2020 election interference case. 11 Alive has confirmed the judge has denied a motion from Wade to block additional testimony from his former attorney, Terrence Bradley. Defense attorneys believe Bradley can prove Willis and Wade's romantic relationship began earlier than they just testified. Bradley is now set to meet with the judge on Monday. Attorneys for former President Donald Trump claim new cell phone evidence can also prove the romantic relationship began in 2021 before Willis appointed Wade to lead the election case. Both Willis and Wade have denied those claims, testifying their relationship did not begin until 2022. Do you think prior to November 1st of 2021, you were at the condo more than 10 times? No, sir. So it'd be less than 10 times? Yes, sir. Right now, attorneys say phone records reveal at least 35 occasions when Wade's phone connected to cell phone towers near Willis's condo in Hapeville for extended periods of time. In court, Wade said any phone records suggesting he was in Hapeville more frequently would be wrong and that his visits to Willis's condo were for business reasons. His attorney did not respond to our request for comment, nor did Willis's office. As for the cell phone records, the judge will have to decide whether it's credible and admissible before factoring it into his decision.